What's up guys, today I just wanted to bring out a quick guide showing off how I record Destiny 2. Of course bearing in mind game capture is blocked by anti-cheat. So you gotta work around it with window capture or display capture. Starting out on our video tab, of course your canvas resolution is just going to be the same resolution as your monitor that you're gaming on. Uh, however I have it set up a little bit differently just to be able to capture two things side by side so don't worry too much about that. Of course your output resolution is going to be what it's being spat out at in mp4 into your recordings folder. And moving up to output, coming over to recording, of course we're going to set this up as mp4. Now I personally recommend x264 as an encoder over nvenc because if you're pushing maximum fps out of your game then nvenc is already going to be working on a 100% load graphics card. So you're probably going to get quite a bit of in-game lag or at the very least recording lag. So we just go ahead and put that on x264. Coming down to rate control we're going to go CBR with 25,000 gigabytes per second at 1080. But if you're playing 1440 at 60 then you want to raise this up to about 50k. Coming further down we have keyframe at 2. Now for CPU usage preset, I personally am on a 12th gen i5 12600K. I know 12th gen and 13th gen can handle this perfectly fine without a worry. But if you're any less than that maybe you want to come down to fast. Profile high. Another thing to note is to come over to your audio tab and quickly raise all of your audio bit rates all the way up on all the tracks that you have active. And of course heading back over here just make sure you're on 60 fps. Now heading over into our game, just coming over to our settings tab now, coming over into video, you want to go ahead and put it on full screen, resolution whatever you're most comfortable with, vsync 120 fps for me but that's because I'm actually playing at 1440 so it's a lot more demanding. Frame rate cap, it's about the same. Copy my settings if anyone likes. Now bearing in mind over here on OBS, we are running display capture. It's going to be either display capture or window capture because of course game capture is blocked. But I've found display capture to be immensely better than window capture. If anything window capture is just going to give you a lot of lag. Another thing to note is when you select display capture make sure you go ahead and pick Windows 10. Although this software is pretty good at detecting what windows you're running in the first place. Recording and display capture is going to put a yellow border around your screen or any application that's being captured. It's just a built in windows security type thing. Uh, as far as I know you can't get rid of it, you can't remove it no matter how hard you try, you just kind of have to deal with it but it's not too bad so it's quite easy to get around. And that does it for today's guide guys, thanks for watching. Drop a like if you enjoyed it or leave a sub. I'll see you in the next one. What in the situation? What is this plate might not be the plate? No, it is. It definitely is. Hey, just forget the whole.